YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 free tweaks that you can use on the newly released 7.1 to 7.1.1 Pangu Jailbreak. The first one I'm going to share with you is called Priority Hub. This is a lock screen tweak that puts your notifications either at the top or the bottom of the screen. And I'll show you what I mean by that. First, let's go into settings and let me show you what you got to choose from in here. And we'll go into Priority Hub. You got your show numbers here. You got location, top or bottom. And I have it set to the bottom and I'll show you why. We got this little icon down here at the bottom of the screen. See that? That one right there. And each time I get a new notification, it'll keep counting and it'll keep going up. It's a little bit hard to see because of the jelly lock display there. But, you know, it's not in the way as long as you don't enable it like so. If you don't want those notifications to show up there, you can tap that like so and hide them tap it to show them that's going to be left up to you that's priority hub the next one we're going to look at is called cylinder this is a home screen tweak that lets your icons do all sorts of different dancing you see i have mine set to spin and there is a slew of different settings you can choose from here effects i should say here they are and I'm not going to walk you through all of them. You can you can get in here and just hash it out and find one that you want. As you can see, I'm using the one that says spin, and that's the one I prefer. The next tweak is activator. This is a tweak that will be working with a, in conjunction with many other tweaks that you use. And you can set activator up to do many different things. And I'll show you the, an example of what I use it for. This is Activator here. And you can see right now it says that it's not supported by 7.1. However, it does work somewhat, I should say. And currently, I'm not seeing my icon. So it's, after I've installed a tweak, it's it's went away. But anyway... If I hold down on the status bar up here on the time, you see it takes a photo. That does that through Activator. And you can set things up under the settings just the same. Go to Activator here. Go to Anywhere. And anything you want to do on your device, if you want to take a home, a home screenshot just like I just did, you could set it up to double press. If you wanted to, to create a, a message, you could double tap the home button like I've got right here, double press. Uh, any kind of gesture imaginable, you can set it up using Activator. Check it out. It's definitely a tweak you want to get acquainted with. The next one I'm going to share with you is called Speed Intensifier. If you notice my animation is somewhat faster, that's coming through Speed Intensifier. And you see that. Here is our settings for Speed Intensifier 7. It goes from 0 to infinity, and I have it set to infinity, and you see it's very fast. The next one we're going to be looking at is called Hidden Settings 7. This is some of the features that Apple themselves use to test different animations and things like that for setting up new iOS firmware. So this is a very, very detailed list so if we open up our control center here tap springboard settings you see we get di different categories here that we can change uh, there's literally hundreds if not thousands of different settings you could change in here for instance instance if you just wanted to change something in the icon animation you could come in here and tap if you wanted to change when you unlock it that it zooms, animates, it springs, uh, it's on basic, but we, it's on can go to spring. There's just so much, guys, you can do with this. And don't worry about messing anything up. You can always tap restore default down here if you get things looking where it just weirds out. And you can change things in the control center, lock screen, app slider. CarPlay, lock screen, test plug-in, screen fade animation, alert items, notification center. 
you get the idea there's just so much you can do in here it'd take three hours to go through it all that's called hidden setting seven and that's a free one too the next one we're going to look at guys is called jelly lock seven and you've already got a glimpse of what that looks like it's a lock screen tweak and you see the little circle there if we tap on that and hold down you we well, don't have to hold down now you just tap it it brings up the different icons that circle around it there and you see you got five different choices to choose from that that you can go into settings here and go to jelly lock and you can choose which apps you want for the shortcuts you got five different ones and you can replace the camera if you want to replace it with something else so technically you have six and you can also choose to skip your passcode and you can blacklist certain uh, apps if you want to do that that's going to be left up to you that's called jelly lock seven the next one is called hidden wallpapers now what this does guys is it adds different more dynamic wallpapers to your device all you have to do is go into choose new wallpaper go to dynamic and now you see you have all these different options before you only had that one blue wa dynamic wallpaper now you have all these different colors and i've chose this colorful one down here for my lock screen so let me show you what it looks like and you see the longer it sits it'll move around the bubbles will they'll they'll go in and out and start looking three-dimensional it's really cool what it does that's called hidden wallpapers the next one is called repower now since SP settings hasn't been updated for iOS 7 yet this is a pretty cool way to shut down your device or just respring or reboot or power off that's going to be left up to you you see you get the little sliders there if you need to reboot or respring you can just simply slide that to do so very very cool way to do it the, the next one we're looking at is called volume plus now if you remember a few weeks ago we downloaded and installed volume 8 this is its big brother this is a volume HUD if I'm not mistaken there's no kind of settings to configure so let's go in here and open up music and get it playing alright now you see here our HUD has been updated since we installed this tweak if we tap that little arrow there pointing down it'll show you the album art you can even compose a message if you tap that little pen there in the center and you can even take photos if you want to all you have to do is tap that little arrow going down and tap the little camera there you got a pause and a play in the center forward rewind it tells the uh, album art if you tap the person's name in the center it'll open up the music app like you saw it just do and you can also scrub through the song and it's just overall an awesome volume hood guys it's called volume plus the last one I'm going to share with you here is called flux this is a cool way to set up your device for nighttime viewing so it doesn't blind you or appear too bright at night you can set it on a schedule daytime nighttime fluorescent halogen midtime sun it's all going to depend on however you want to set it up all you have to do is run flux out and set your location you can choose the long transitions you turn off color sensitive work and it does work guys it's a cool way to set it up and you'll definitely tell a difference with that app installed when you're using your device check it out i know you'll enjoy it don't forget guys to hit that subscribe button before you go share these on facebook and twitter keep coming back